Cable News. The G Block theme going is Christmas music this Halloween. Okay, zombie attack. If you think of a more horrifying onslaught, then you've lived more than we have. The question now, if scores of the undead rise up against you, your town, your county, your commonwealth, how do you proceed? A few tips now from the author Max Brooks from his book, The Zombie Survival Guide, Complete Protection from the Living Dead. Need to stop one? Shot to the head. That's all. Keep your clothes tight and your hair short. If you can, hole up in one of your, either your home or your office and destroy the staircase. And most importantly, do not panic, especially because zombies are not real. Not yet. The Queer Eye guys probably hoping the zombie onslaught will hold off for a little while longer. According to the Hollywood Reporter, the lads have hammered out a new contract. So instead of making a measly $3,000 an episode, they'll now make something like $8,000. And when episodes from Bravo get re repurposed on NBC, the boys will make even more. America's songbird and greatest living actress ever, Justin Timberlake, signing with ABC Sports to be the new face and voice of the NBA. That's right, Justin Timberlake, the new voice and face of the National Basketball Association. He'll do some reporting work and write the signature theme song for the NBA. He'll also appear in the promos and take note, pop stars are not immune to zombie horror. Britney Spears isn't feeling well, no, she doesn't have Solanum, one of the infectious causes of zombieism. Not that, thankfully. Instead, according to her record label, she's laid up with flu and a severe throat infection, which means she won't be able to hit all those high seas. Well, actually, that wasn't she. Get well soon. A few of the guys from the show took a long walk through the borough of Brooklyn last week, from Coney Island back to Manhattan. While strolling the many tree-lined streets, they got a first-hand taste of the Halloween spirit alive and well in the borough of Brooklyn. Urban scarecrows, lovingly stuffed, and laid out in front yards from Flatbush to Dumbo. Nothing like a healthy little scare for the kids, always for the kids, but not for zombies. Okay, want to clear up a few little things here about urban legends this All Hallows Eve. Just because you say Bloody Mary 13 times in front of a mirror does not mean that a woman will appear and scratch her face off, or yours for that matter, unless you've arranged for that to happen in advance. None of your friends or their friends or their friend's friend's friend have ever picked up a girl at a prom dress just to have her disappear into thin air. Next. Some big, big news about Luciano Pavarotti. This just in. He has not been set up by zombies, only to escape through the help of techn tube technology. No, that's next year. This year, turns out, he's going to be married in December to his girlfriend. They have a baby together, so now they'll be a real family. A couple of more things that never happened to anyone you've never met. The Pineys. Remember, their plane crashed, and they slowly turned into men half raccoons. Never happened. Remember the time the killer... Cropsy attacked all of those Boy Scouts like your cousin told you? That never happened either. And the old hag syndrome where that evil presence enters your room late at night and you can't move? That was intergestions. I'm done now. Today's a scary day. Boo, all that stuff. So if you want to watch something terrifying tonight, just to get into the spirit, here are some ideas. The original Night of the Living Dead in glorious black and white. Remember our little talk at the bottom of the top of the block. 28 Days Later, Dread, New Style, London's Posed, and this time the zombie types can't sprint. And the Olsen Twins, <laughs> in winning London. If the zombies attack, make a beeline for your G-Block Quick Hits. The Raiders of the Lost Ark DVD collection, now the best-selling disc set of all time. Moving more than a million copies its first week out. Wow. Actor Aiden Quinn arrested over the weekend, charged with DUI. More Masked Man. E! Online reports Antonio Banderas and Catherine Zeta-Jones are close to signing onto a sequel of The Mask of Zorro. And on Halloween day in the year 1926, magician Harry Houdini died in Detroit died of gangrene and parentitis from a ruptured appendix. 
and that's your news. And the G Block is Fox Reports this Halloween night, 2003. I'm Shepard Smith. For all of us in the Fox Report, thanks for trusting us for your news. In the olden days, the Rebels played LSU on Halloween weekend, this time at South Carolina for a 5-0 in the SEC. Say a prayer. The Fox Report with Shepard Smith. A presentation of Fox News Channel, the network America trusts, period. The O'Reilly Factor is on tonight. Caught on tape, a man shoots his attorney in the face outside a California courtroom.